Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Alibaba is back with one fun 2.2. We finally have more control in one 2.2. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button below. I have much more one 2.2 fun and video AI content coming. And I also have a really cool show reel of the capabilities of AI today that's coming out soon that I'm really excited to share with everyone. So let's dive into how to install WAN 2.2. So if you don't have ComfyUI already installed, I have a link down in the description below. You can use that to get ComfyUI up and running, and then you can head back to this part and I'll show you where to get the models, how to download them, what folders to put them in, and you'll be good to go from there. So you'll need to download all of the models in the description down below. They're the same as the models that I'm showing here. The one thing that you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to is both the high and low noise models download as diffusion PyTorch model dot safe tensors. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you rename those to the name that I have in the description. Otherwise you'll end up with two diffusion PyTorch models and you'll, you won't know which one to pick in your workflows. I also included the V1.1 of the Light X to V Lightning LoRa's. They seem to work pretty well for Wanfun. And then I am using Flux Context to generate our first frame. So I put the models for Flux Context in there as well. So you don't have to go dig up another video on how to get Flux Context working. All right, so I'll download the VAE to give you an example. So then you can go through and do the same thing that we do for the VAE for the rest of the models. So you can see we have one 2.1 VAE downloaded right there. And I have my ComfyUI folder pulled up here. I'm gonna go to models and then it tells me to go to place in ComfyUI models VAE. So I'm gonna go to VAE and then I'm just gonna drag my downloaded file into VAE. All right, so now we have the VAE in our models folder and we are, should be good for that file. So do the same thing with the rest of them. They're all, they all show you where to put the model and also what to name it. Most of the time they're named the same thing as they're downloaded as, but in rare cases like these diffusion PyTorch models, we have to rename them. Your other option is to use Artificial Studio, which is my custom built app for, it's kind of a wrapper for ComfyUI, Diffusion Pipe for training LoRa's and some other tools that I find helpful. There's a model downloader section. All you need to do is go down to the one 2.2 fun control section hit download selected models, and it'll download all of your files into ComfyUI for you. And from there, you can go to the app links and open up ComfyUI. If you're not gonna use Artificial Studio, just open ComfyUI the way you normally would, and you'll have all the models there. All right, so from the description below, you can grab the workflow or you can head to my Patreon if you'd like to support there. Just download the workflow and drag it into ComfyUI. All right, and then you'll, you're gonna need the video that you want to modify. So I'm gonna use, let's find a different video here. I'll use this one of this woman holding a candle. And then I'm gonna turn on the flux context portion and turn off the one inference portion for now. So we're just gonna modify our first frame I'm gonna have the woman holding a candle turn into a skeleton holding a candle. So the woman holding the candle is now a skeleton. And just make sure before you run it that you have selected all the right models in this section. And also if you don't have Sage Attention, either go install it. I have a couple videos on my channel on how to install it, or you can just bypass it. You'll lose some speed, but it'll work fine for you. All right, so let's run this portion of the workflow. It's gonna be 832 by 480 because that's what I set the values for down here. If you have a portrait versus a landscape video or vertical versus a horizontal video, just make sure your width and height are correct. So there's our woman now with a skeleton head. Let's save this image off. 
And then we're gonna adjust our prompt. So I'm gonna say a skeleton walking with while holding a candle. And then let's bypass the flux context because we all are, already have our image and let's turn on the WAN inferencing section. So you can see we already have our control net video. If you want to use something other than DW pose, there's some other options here. So let's drag our image into the load image node. You can also try to run this as a full workflow. If you plug this in, you can turn all the groups on, but I was running into RAM issues. I have 96 gigabytes of RAM and I was running into RAM issues. So I would imagine most people trying this would run into RAM issues, but if you want to try it, connect up the get mod first frame node and then turn all the groups on and you can try to run it. All right, and then we are using the lightning LoRa's, so make sure you have the lightning LoRa's selected and make sure you have the correct ones selected so the low LoRa goes in the second vi one video model loader and then the high LoRa goes in the first one. Make sure you have the high one 2.2 fun model selected in the first model loader and then the low selected in the second model loader for attention mode i'm using sage attention if you don't have sage attention working just turn sdpa on and then just make sure you have your vae selected here as well okay that should be all we need to do to be able to run this so let's give it a shot so here is our result pretty solid right we got the the skull moving around and this is only a 480p generation, so you can turn it up to 1280 by four by 720, and you'll actually get better results. I've found 720p tends to be much better results than 480p, especially when using the LightX LoRa's. So if you're still running into RAM issues, I would recommend taking this Flux Context first frame and just taking the whole thing out, so copying it into a new workflow and then just deleting it from this workflow and run the context portion from the other workflow, unload models if you need to and clear cache if you need to and then run it again, run the actual wrapper version of WAN 2.2, just uploading your image in here and that should help with any RAM and memory issues. All right, so not sure that I like this model more than WAN 2.1 VASE. VASE is an amazing motion transfer model and can even do more than just motion transfer, but it is the first step in the right direction for WAN 2.2. I'm excited for more models like these to come out. As models like these come out, I'll make more videos about them. So follow along, you don't wanna miss those. Join us in the Discord. People are sharing the work that they're doing all the time. I'm helping out with any technical issues in the Discord as well. Follow my other socials. Like I said, I'll be releasing a show reel very soon with the current capabilities of AI to demonstrate to all of you what's possible. I appreciate you watching this video and I'll talk to you in the next one.